And when I entered the room and was taking some rest, I could feel that I'm not okay. I was not okay. Beloved, I was really struggling. So by the grace of God, all of a sudden, I saw my spirit come out of my body. And I was going in the space or in the atmosphere, just floating in the space. As if when you dream and you see the enemy pursuing you, you could see that the Holy Spirit takes you up. If you have had that experience before, you know what I'm talking about. All of a sudden, I could hear, I could feel the presence of the Lord after me. I could hear him speak to me. Beloved, by the grace of God what we are about sharing I am not going to talk about hell but what will happen what will happen that is stronger that I know that I cannot stand and I know you cannot also stand so what I'm saying I'm sharing, I'm sharing for myself and I'm giving you a portion of it I'm sharing with you too, that you also listen and strengthen yourself all of a sudden I saw that he was taking me in the atmosphere and we got to two uh, great warehouses and in the warehouse there was a huge gate there was a very big padlock it was very great and when we got there there was thousands and giant demon and they were guiding the warehouse you cannot go into the warehouse because of their nature you cannot overtake them overrun them and go the Lord said look I'm revealing things unto you I'm revealing mysteries unto you tell my children and let them know that there is danger for us there is a danger ahead but man cannot stand that day because it's a look all of a sudden I saw the warehouse open warehouse open beloved the kind of things inside the warehouse drums drums various drums drums yeah the old drums now I said tank you know metal one no? those drums are like barrel that look like metal the old metal type knives or cutlasses a whole lot of things that we can use to injure people oil and acid all sorts a whole lot a whole different type of machines that they will torture men with those were the things kept at the warehouse he said have you seen them my child look go and tell my children that there is something waiting for them so have you seen all these things things that they used to torture men in hell where the things they stored at that place that after the rapture they will, they will use it to torment Christians that will be left behind to so tell my children to prepare themselves and he revealed that unto me again he took me to another place beloved when we go there that one too was shot there were demons in front you cannot go there all of a sudden the way the Lord will open the door when he speak the door just open he said look Bibles Bible Bible different types of Bible Bible different types of Bible Bible Beloved, they are numerous. And when we say we are sharing it for the world, everybody will get to her portion. So those Bibles, he said, after the rapture, those Bibles were the ones they will share. They will gather all the, all the churches. When they gather all the, the denominations, that is the Bible they will be using. This Bible of us, they will take it from us and they will burn all of them because it will be of no need anymore Hallelujah. Amen and he took me to another place and when we got there it was money money 
Few some money that when they share for the world, everybody will have some. He said, Have you seen this have money? Have you seen this money? That is what the entire world will use. That is what the entire world will use after the rapture. That is what the entire world means. And they are all there prepared. They are already prepared. But because I've not come for my children, they are all there. And he took me to another place. Chains are various chains, all types of chains. That in the olden days will be used for slave trade. It was those things that were kept there. He said, Have you seen these things? These things. They are there for Christians. They will tie them with it. They will bind them with it. And you cannot deliver yourself. And he took me to another place. And when you review that, were different machines, various computers. Machines are. Machines that they will use to distribute the number of the beast. That's where the machines were there. And different computers that were there. That's when you take the number. Wherever you get to where you want to buy something. You just show it. And it will open. He said these are those ones. After that. He revealed another section. That place was not a warehouse. He said my child look at this. Beloved military men. That prepared themselves. That have hidden them. That after the rapture. They will torment men. That there will be no more mercy. They will have no mercy. They will not have any mercy on any man. They were the one at their place. He said, Look at them. Look at how giant they are. Look at how they prepare themselves. You know that there will be no more mercy concerning these people. All of a sudden, he took me to another section. He opened that area. All sorts of products, different products that were kept there. That after the rapture, they will bring it out for men to use, humanity to use. These are the things. He told me that because I, the Lord, I am done with all that I'm doing. I have finished all that I told you. That I'm going to prepare a place for you. That I'll come and take you with me. Exactly. The same way the enemy too is prepared. All that is waiting for is that. That I'll come and take my children. That he too will have access. And take dominion over the earth. And he revealed that too to me. And all of a sudden, he opened the sea. He said, Look at those things in the sea. Look at the things in the sea that are hidden. That those things, after the rapture, even so, some of the things are in the sea that they have already brought them onto the earth. That humanity is using that we do not know, but it's bringing us down. Praise God. Hallelujah. And he revealed that also to me. Beloved, when he was done, all of a sudden, I saw that we have come to the church auditorium. I would like us to read from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 18. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 18. Watch your king, Thessalonica form of my dick. Eighteen nine, you move a doing here, you could see a doing watch. Watch your king. If we say a radinara de Osebo, a buff of penny, any young cop on to Bento, if we sue the sun, the crystal who a woof were best or a cannon, and son of a barber fire and a teacher's here. Okay, anyway, you know, Mumu Kum, say young Kosher, a radi a view. Now, son, I near Rada Batnada into Mufa and Sammy and Chichiramore. Amen. 
First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 to 18. First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 to 18. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All of a sudden, I saw myself that we've come to the church. As the word of God says, that in a twinkle of an eye, in a twinkle of an eye, in a twinkle of an eye, all of a sudden, I saw the rapture take place. Beloved, when our brother our father Abraham Yakubu shared with us that rapture is dangerous than dying it is indeed fearful it is fearful when someone dies where the person will go the person is gone but for the rapture for the rapture it is something that you witness and will happen and you know you are aware of yourself that you, 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 you know you ought to go but you did not go hallelujah amen all of a sudden I saw the rapture take place some of the people were gone some were gone I did not make it beloved I did not make it I was weeping I was crying I was crying I was crying we that we claim to be holy we are doing holiness everybody was crying everybody was crying those that were left behind they were crying all of a sudden I saw those that could not make it I saw those that could not make it while the thing was, was happening and the Lord was with me, and the presence of God was by my side, and He was talking to me, He was talking to me. The rapture has occurred. You did not make it. People seem to be to have collapsed. They seem to have collapsed. But nobody was dying. All of a sudden, so that everybody was up and they, they took their seat. They were sitting down. Everybody was sitting down. Nobody cares about anything anymore. No one was considering or looking at anyone anymore. They were all sitting down. And they were weeping. And they were weeping. They were weeping and wailing. They were weeping. Beloved, they were weeping. People could weep. That tears were no more dropping. People were shouting and screaming to understand that you could not hear their voice anymore because they believe that where they have gotten to, they could have made it. They knew that they were done. So when the rapture happened, they should have made it, but they did not make it. Beloved, it is dangerous. Rapture, it is dangerous. We did not make it. When we did not make it, the Lord began giving me the reasons why some of the people did not make it. You'll be going to the book of James, chapter 2, verse 10. Watch all you can kind of cook on woman. Timmy, you knew you would do. I said, I do bed him rain in our soul. Now, I better talk back on. Now, I didn't in our home for. James chapter 2 verse 10 James chapter 2 verse 10 For whosoever shall keep the whole law And yet offend in one point He is guilty of all Hallelujah Amen All of a sudden Say look have you seen this lady coming she was done with everything that she was supposed to make the rapture but she was late she was late that is why she could not make the rapture she was late she was late to church for that reason she could not make the rapture upon all the suffering upon all the work beloved 
where we are coming from to church where I live and I come to church it is not easy yet the rapture will come and we don't make it we have suffered in vain I am pleading that the Lord will help us that we all be able to make it he said lateness he was late that is why she did not make it he revealed to me another person he said when the person came to church instead of the person to sit down the person went out and conversed not just even a, a profitable conversation the time the person was supposed to be in church the person did not sit down so when the rapture happened the person was outside beloved what kind of a conversation are you involving yourself in? When you come to church, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Do not go out anyhow. Do not be involved in any evil conversation. Because you do not know the time, the master will appear. He revealed another person to me. He said, For this person, when the word of God is coming, when the, and the person is sitting down, this is what the person does. Instead of taking the word or accepting the word for him or herself, the person will be directing the, the word. This word goes for this person. This word is for this person. This word is for this individual. As for this word, Pastor should have said it this way. This word, Pastor should have said it this way. The person will be sitting down and giving his, his or her own ideology on how things should go. Instead of a Setting the word for him yourself. Beloved brethren, no matter what, no matter what, no matter how tough the word may be, I want you to take it as it is. We have to take the word as it is and strengthen ourselves. Another person said, This person cannot pray. This person cannot pray. The prayer is not consistent. Another person, he said, The person that not fasting. That is why the person could not make it. Another person, he said, The person is too wicked. Another person, he said, The person is selfish. Beloved, the things that he was making mention of were not things that we cannot do. Were not things that we cannot overcome or we cannot do. Those were the things we could not do. That is why they could not make the rapture. All of a sudden, I saw the main gate open. Beloved, a whole number of people, a number of people, as if they have been called, when the rapture happened, some of them did not make it. They were all rushing to this place. My beloved brethren, they came to make mockery. They came to make mockery. They came to make mockery. This one will hit you. This one will push you. This one will slap you. They were, they were tormenting them. You claim you make heaven. You claim you make heaven. And when the Lord will do that, He was making me see at the same time what was happening outside. The various holiness churches that some of them could not make it. The other churches that some of them could not make it. And they saw themselves to be righteous, yet could not make it. And they were also weeping. Beloved, when they came, you claim you were going to heaven. Why are you here? Why couldn't you make it? They were making mockery of those that were left behind. They were making mockery of those that were left behind. And fear great people. Fear great people. He made me see. That because he has told us a whole lot. And he has revealed a lot unto us. We know what is about to happen. Therefore, everybody was afraid. People were afraid. They could not do anything. All that they were doing were just crying. They were just crying. And they were sitting on the floor. Beloved, all of a sudden, I saw that a time was up. They were giving the mark of the beast. Please, I'll plead with all of us to go to the book of Revelation. 
Revelation 13 verse 16 to 18. Chapter 13 verse 16 to 18. Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 to 18. Revelation Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 to 18. Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 to 18. And he cursed all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had a mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that had understanding. Count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Praise God. Hallelujah. Preocupe. All of a sudden, Me who say, I saw that they were sharing the number. They were distributing the number. People were receiving the number. Who are you to say you won't take it? You say you won't take it. Then where will you run to? Where are you going? The enemy has taken over the entire world. Wherever you go, he sees you. Where will you go? Where will you run to? You have nowhere to go. For that reason, people were receiving the number. Those that made up their mind that they wouldn't take the number. Soldier for now. The military men yes, 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 woman. that were prepared. You see them, they come and take the people. They come and take the people. And the vehicle with which they take the people. It's a cargo car. The big ones. And they pack them into it like sardine. That was where they packed the people. And all of a sudden, I saw that. Where he made me see the warehouse where they had stored the things they were going to torment the Christians that were left behind with. That was where they took those that were left behind. There was war around the entire place. You cannot escape. You cannot escape. And they kept them there. All of them. Beloved brethren. I'm not talking about hell. I am not talking about hell. What will happen on this earth? What you receive with your body? What you receive with your flesh? That is what I'm talking about. And today, if you are frying fish and some of the oil falls on your skin, how does it feel when you light fire? and you get burned how does it feel when you put fire, water on fire and some pulls on your hand how does it feel my beloved brethren all of a sudden I saw that they've taken all of us there they took all of us there the things that they were going to torment us with, they have arranged them they have arranged all those things and the place is an open place and there was it's war and you cannot escape to anywhere so when they are torturing somebody those of you that did not take the number you will see you will see what is happening hallelujah amen so all of a sudden you see they'll come and take one person and they take the person to the place and they've light fire and they pour oil in a tank and it's on fire and there is water on fire that one too is on fire and there was acid also aside and various knives that they are going to touch you with. various machines that they are going to torment you on YouTube they were all there when you, when you make up your mind that the number you wouldn't take those of you that will take the number lift up your hands if you will not take it then put down your hand you will see 
that everybody will be quiet you see that fear has gripped them men are filled with fear all of a sudden I saw some of the people brought out beloved they dip them in the oil they dip them in the oil and the person will be crying the person will be screaming the person will be screaming they will be screaming yet who will come to deliver who will come there to deliver the one that will deliver you he has taken his children away praise God hallelujah he has taken his own so for that place when you even mention the name of Jesus it cannot work again because he's gone the Holy Spirit has left the earth the Bible is no more working when they dip the person in the oil by the time they pour it out the person would have been fried the person would have been fried very well as we fry fish the person would be well fried yet the person wouldn't be dead the person would not be dead the person would say after the rapture the way people die of, the, of late or these days after the rapture humanity will not be dying as such so that pain you really go through you receive it with your skin the person had been fried yet the person did not die take the person in hot water put the person in hot water the person will be well poured the person will be flamed but the person will die you put the person in acid the skin will be burned yet the person wouldn't die all of a sudden they arrest somebody and they put the person in a machine you are the one the enemy has prepared a pomade or a cream for you to bleach your skin continue you said you wouldn't bleach so you, you, you maintain your natural skin so when they take you into the machine they peel off your skin from your body they peel off your skin from your head to your feet you'll see the person become red he's bleeding you wouldn't die you will not die you will be in that pain though but you will not die that is what humanity was going through so those of us that were there when you see what is happening and you know you cannot stand it all straight ahead you lift up your hands when you lift up your hands you receive the mark and then they will take you out they will give you the mark and they continue they continue taking people and they were tormenting them and those that were afraid they lift up their hands you have made up your mind that if you don't make rapture you will strike Lord for me I cannot I know I cannot. Me to me. I cannot. So help me, Lord. Me to me. Lord, I cannot. So help me, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. All of a sudden, I saw that it was my turn. I said I won't take the number. So, by the time they will take you from where you were to where they are going to torture you what you would have gone through what they would have done to you you cannot even stand that you cannot even stand that so they just push you they were just putting and pushing them so that you give up and take the number they will torture you so that you just take the mark all of a sudden they took me to the place you are the one claiming to be holiness members you say you will not perm your hair you keep your natural put me in a certain machine and I saw oil on fire too Aside. and when they put me through the machine and they pushed me 
my head went down to where the oil was my head was in the oil my head was inside the oil all my hair were gone taking off my natural hair they were all taking off it was left with my scar he said you, he will torture you you are the one that claims to be holiness you are the one that claims you see so after that the same machine they push you to another section the thing was just like pins they press on it then you pierce your eye then you pluck your eyes out my beloved brethren all this pain people went through it people went through I really suffer I really suffer I really suffer Young kind Matthew 24 verse 21. Let us read Matthew chapter 24 verse 21. About your young kind, as I'm planning to say, the matter you throw my in. It's he a do no and I you move a do no back home. It's yes, I'm not saying I'm here, Cassia. I said, I'm not now, I'm here, Cassia. I'm here, Cassia. If you are seeing fit, you are seeing me. Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 For then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no not ever shall be a great tribulation a great tribulation that you cannot do anything about you cannot stand I don't know for you if you'll be able to stand. But for me, I know we cannot stand. When I pinch my brother and he feel the pain, and he feel the pain, then I don't think we can stand that. I don't think we can stand that. It is a great tribulation. It is a tribulation that is so tough. It is so fearful that humanity cannot stand. It is not the day of the Lord. It is not even the one, the vengeance the Lord is going to pour on humanity. This is what the enemy is going to do to man. The things he is doing to man in, human, in hell. It was the same thing he will bring back on the land after the rapture. Hallelujah. Amen. And they tortured me. They tormented me. They really tormented me. I really suffered. Hallelujah. Amen. All of a sudden, by the grace of God, I came back to my senses. And when I came, beloved, I was really tired. I could not do anything. I could really feel that I'm tired. He revealed another thing unto me. That was 17th May. No? It was on the 17th of May. 2017. This very year, 2017. Please we'll read Joel chapter 2. Verse 1 to 12. Verse 1 to 12. Joel chapter 2 verse 1 to 12. If I check, you can you well, no man, it's him, you know, you move back home, it could do me. As a moon shining to Truban to a zion, no more will say, people come crony so. My sister's a phone in her home popo. If we say, a rather than a redo, na a bang, a soon and a kusui yada. Munukum and his Kusukuku at that. A man be our door so now I had Jane a bean to send every tete. Nana Chinsu will be ring yes and no. I want to add to us where did this one in film every year. Sir Adachia, a year and me poswano. Oja Sidi on a name. Now Oja Frama at a free do on a cheap. When a name as I say at his head in true. Now a tree 
Eh sir, a prada da da. Na bibia da wi fi wona nemu enko. Wa ho te se aponko ho. Na wo tu mrika se aponko sotifo. Wo hu hu se ntiasi anam. Kitikiti ye emepo etifi. Se ojaframa ese enchenchema. Tutue se edoma eya den a. Wasie sie won ama okon. Insiano. I say, am I who drew you on a name? Nippon in a name is in some. What two recap said no marema or flew a first year set up of four on an one up and so now one two and something now so a bit soon the uncle when you know and I want a ten point so now so I should say a good young tema won't pray or your chromo menya 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 or your chromo menya menya what you two of us you so America. Ofroba FM wafa empuma mu base ofifo asase wo so wanani osuru hihim owa no asrani adusu na ensroma akame ehran duba ko na awrade amane ne so ne dom no anim na ne nsraba no so ese na de ose na ne nsraba no eso se na de odi na asanso no ehu ye de Na erade dano so ena eye huse. Na wai eno ube chumye jina no. Dunye nu. Na afe yusu. Erade na wasye. Mwensa na mwena menchayi akume nina. Na abuwa dadie eni esu eni ajuchomu. Amen. Ni abuwa dadie eni esu eni ajuchomu. Amen. I'm reading from the verse 12. Therefore also now say ye the Lord. Turn ye even to me. With all your hearts. And with fasting. And with weeping and with mourning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved brethren, the Lord said, Turn aside. Turn your heart. And come to Him. Turn your heart. And come to Him. Because a great day is coming. And by the grace of the Lord, when you open my eye, he revealed this also to me I saw the waters entered into darkness thick darkness all of a sudden I saw the earth was melting the grounds were melting it is not that you see fire consume a building and you see still some of the structures there no you wouldn't see such they melt like oil and the skies too were folding up all the things on the earth were changing and humanity were running humanity were running has that scatter and I was asking this earth is melting and the skies are also folding up where would you go where would you run to where would you go beloved the day of the Lord is fearful it's fearful it's fearful somebody said this earth will not be destroyed the person is a liar what we have seen bible the bible says that the skies will fall down whatsoever the word of god has said it's so exactly so and they will so that will happen by the grace of god this is what he graced me with and before i came here one week before conference i came a week before this conference and the lord revealed something to me he took me to a bell a land a bell land it has no end you wouldn't see any boundaries thereof you wouldn't see where it ends and I saw myself where am I all of a sudden I saw a whole lot of people you cannot count their number they were coming well, as they were coming I saw at the back of the land there was a pit and when they come they all fall into that it was not coming to an end. They were just pouring into the pit. They were just falling into it. And my eye was open. I said, Lord, what does they mean? He did not say anything. The next day, he took me to the airport. He showed something to me. Somebody that was traveling. And they had their passport. When the time was up for them to go, they were just wearing she was just wearing underwear 
and she was just in Brazil. And when she got there, they looked at her. They said, We cannot allow you to enter. Even to open her passport. It is true, you are having your passport. Everything is in there. But you cannot enter. And another person came. The person had a passport. And when they put the person on the screen, and the thing screened her, they saw that she had the person had something inside. They did not allow the person. Another person came. The person to have his or her luggage. They checked the luggage. They saw something that disqualified the person. My eye was open. I said, What is this, Lord? He did not say anything. So when I got here, that was 19th November. On the 19th of those uh, November. In the night. I was lying down and all of a sudden I saw myself in, on top of a hill or mountain. A mountain. And I was on top of the mountain. And I could see the entire world. The entire world is in darkness. All of a sudden. I saw the rapture happen again. And beloved, I could see, I could sense the rapture is just nearby. Rapture took place. It took place. Most of the people made it. Most of them made it. I saw some people that were praying. They could not make it. Just one person made it among them. I saw someone sitting by the Bible. The person was reading. The person also did not make it. I saw another person preaching holiness message. People were around the person. The person was also serious. The person could not make it. I saw other churches. Those who could not make it. The members were holding on to the pastor. You have disappointed us. They were holding the pastor's wife. You have disappointed us. They were in trouble. Were, those that would beat them were beating them. So as I did not make it, I was crying. I was seriously crying. I was crying. All of a sudden, somebody tapped me. On the, shoulder. the hand was on my shoulder. Say, Are you surprised that somebody is preaching and did not make it? I said, Have you seen it? I revealed something to you. The people you saw them in the pit. They are not people that are dead. But they are living beings. They are people that are alive but are going to destruction. They are the ones you saw. The person you see. That is preaching. The time I gave to him to preach. That he should preach. That time. He did not do it. He did what he wants. By the time he gave him, it, it was not up. The purpose I wanted him to achieve, he could not reach out to that. That is why he did not do it. What, what gift has the Lord given up to you? And you are sitting down with it. Beloved brethren, if you don't reach your purpose, you cannot make it. And those that were praying, those that were praying, said, Are you surprised they are praying? And they could not make it. Look at their hearts. Somebody was praying. Because in their heart they think it's somebody fighting against them. They are thinking that somebody is a witch, therefore is a person tormented. Not knowing the person is not a witch, but the person is an innocent person. And the person has just condemned the person in the mind and praying against the person. That is why they did not. Whom have you condemned with your mind? Whom have you condemned with your mind? Who have you considered evil thoughts against the person? What have you thought against the person? That is not so. And you evil against the person it, because of that somebody missed the rapture and he revealed their heart to me he said look at their hearts somebody's selfishness somebody's own is bitterness be unfair free that is why they did not make it those that were reading the scripture he said look at him he's reading the bible show, but look at where the mind is the mind is on his work have you seen that? That is why I could not make it. Praise God. Hallelujah.
And he told me that at the airport where I took it, I was revealing something to the person that was naked. To anybody that would dress, and parts of their bodies would be exposed where it's not supposed to show. And the past soul before I, the Lord, you are naked. It has no matter the level of your Christianity. You cannot be part of the journey. So the passport. We are holding it as Christian. But the one that we need to attach to to be able to make it. We are not able to do it. The one that has something. Said this person. She is well dressed though. We see the person to be in holiness. But the person is a witch. The heart is black. It's filthy. When you see him facially. The person looks clean. And holy. The one that has something in the bag. The person is a Christian. That goes to fetish priests and add external power to what he has when you die. That thing will find you out. You can never leave it. It's by the grace of the Lord. He has revealed all these things to us. My beloved brethren. Let us strive. Let us hold on to your heart. Let us help. Let us do our best. What has someone done to you? That you cannot forgive. What has somebody done to you? That you cannot forgive. May the Lord help us. That we will be able to stand unto the end. May God bless us. All. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 